right, everyone, welcome back to Jack Swim Wildlife. Now today, we're gonna to be doing something very, very special, very intimate. Now you've seen me let animals sting me. You've even seen me let animals feed on me. But we've never seen animals attracted to and feeding on something I produce. In this lovely Whataburger cup, I will be placing some, uh, let's call it um, human feces. And we're hoping to attract some very spectacular beetles. A lot of people don't know, but uh, one man's crap is another man's treasure. So uh, we're hoping to get some really nice species of dung beetles and other species of beetles that absolutely love poo poo. So uh, I'm gonna hop inside, fill this up to the brim, and then we're gonna get going. So fingers crossed we get some cool species and I don't uh, humiliate myself pooping in a cup for no reason. All right, let's get it done. That was uh, upsettingly descriptive. <laughs> Package secure. We're gonna head out of this field and sit back, relax, and watch the party begin. So we're gonna get up by these cows because obviously their poop attracts some beetles, uh, but this stuff uh, should bring in the Coachella of beetles. All the hipsters, all the colorful ones, the rare ones that come out of the woodwork, they're gonna be after the Golden Corral of buffets. <laughs> we found a place to put our poo-poo trap. <laughs> God. pop the cap and hopefully we attract some beetles the, the, the trick is gonna be getting the beetles and intercepting them before they hit my poop because I don't want to touch them after they're digging around in there so hopefully we're able to get them before then and now the wind will take my blessing carry it to the far off lands to attract our friends Young beetles showing up. Not what we're looking for. Nope. <laughs> All right, guys. Check this sucker out. Big male. Look at that. Really nice. Look at that amazing horn, super loud. Oh, he'll be back, he'll be back. Okay folks, over there was a little windy. My poop wasn't getting as appreciated as I had hoped. So we have moved over here, already beetles flying in. Hopefully we've got better luck over here and we can get some more phaneous deformis. Some nice males. Eye out and net every one we see. Oh, yeah. We seem to have a classic case of mistaken identity with this poop covered beetle being mistaken for actual feces so you can see this other beetle is actually trying to roll it uh, like it were a ball of poop uh, when in fact it is another beetle <laughs> a confusing afternoon for the both of them looks like did you get it yeah is it one yeah. yes sir blue female. Oh, female. Blue female. Oh, blue female check this out guys this is a rare color scheme. See those elytra, the wing coverings are blue. This is a nice little female, see? She's lacking that horn on the front. Really, really nice female. Look at that. Look at the light reflect off of her. Look at that color. Iridescent. Wow, 
Very nice. Pain, the, 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 the yeah. pain is the formis. Man, I wish see how many we can get. I wish you had like a little ear. Yeah. Where? Like, could just be a lighter every beetle. Generic dung beetle that we don't want. Not pretty at all. I think it's working better to tilt the cup like that. Yeah. I think Tyler was. But we pressed it. Yeah. Wow. But we pressed it. Oh, that's a species we've never even seen right there. Cool you! Indeed. It looked blue on the Electra. It was. Uh, snatch them out. Show them the camera. Active little beetle. Christ about their species. Don't. It's very quick. Look at that. A little bit pressed. Interesting. Did you open up the Elytra? Alright, so while we're waiting for the cool ones to come in, I'm going to see how many I can catch in my net of these normal ones. Here we go. One. Gotta get out of the way of the poop smell. Here comes the dung. Bee -doo -doo -doo. Here comes the dung. Dose. Take a look right here. A lovely dung beetle rolling, as the name might suggest, a small ball of dung. Good job, honey. See those little flies? They're like, y'all smell poop. Yep, poo poo right here. Now these, what these dung beetles will do, is they will orient themselves on top of a fecal ball, and they will roll this ball with their Bottoms up in the air, they'll roll it back, and they will put it into a little hole. And once inside this hole, underground, in the safety of the cool depths, they will deposit their eggs inside of it. And their larvae will eat poop till they pupate and become a beetle to start the process all over again. Truly beautiful. I don't know how you could be any more beautiful than these lovely young beetles here. Truly a wonder of nature. Thank you. Come close, come close. Look at what we have found. So take a look. This is a pair. So this is the male right here. The female is clinging to his lovely ball of feces. And she will deposit an egg inside and he will bury it. And the larva will munch around, pupate, and turn into a beetle. But so that's what, that's what the females do. They find the male with the biggest balls. And um, they cling to his ball of poop. And as he rides into the sunset with her, so romantic, so romantic. So there was a bunch of cows out in this field, which means a bunch of poop. Which is good, of course, for dung beetles who are very poop, poop, poopily inclined. Oh wow, there's a big Pepsis wasp, tarantula, tarantula hawk. Ch ch tarantula hawk. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, look at all this poop. Big old splats. Nice, fresh, goopy poop. Love the smell of dung in the morning. Check out these guys. Already going to town. A few different species here. You can see this mound of dirt. That's where they've actually already just balled it up. Poked it right into the ground to lay their larva. Lay their eggs. 
they can smell it from so far away and they come buzzing in really neat we're looking for the pretty ones though not those little uglies okay so i think there was another female flying around Another blue form. Really nice. It's getting a little too warm for them now, so uh, we're gonna call it quits. So look at all those mites under her. See all those mites feeding on all the crap she's got tucked in between her legs and her head and her thorax and whatnot. Yuck. Anyway, so we had a good time. We fed a lot of beetles my own poo poo, and we were able to contribute positively to the environment. Um, I'm going to call it quits. We saw a male. We saw two females. Um, and it's hot. And I don't want people to be like, hey, bro, whoa, you're so sunburned. What happened, dude? Well, you know, just watching my poop in the sun, you know, because I might get a little embarrassed. So anyway, like, comment, subscribe. If you or a loved one has ever pooped, you might consider putting it outside, help the environment. Poop is great. Lots of animals love to eat poop. Um, yeah. Okay. That's it. Love you. Bye.